Okay. Hello, Zohab. How are you? Hey. I'm good, Emily. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, so I'm just going to read an intro. Um, yes. So Zohab Z Khan, you are an educator, spoken word poet, motivational speaker, didgeridoo player, and hip hop artist, and um, first and foremost, Australian poetry slam champion. Um, you've travelled the world delivering workshops which help build confidence through spoken word poetry and, um, as you call it, brain hacks. Um, obviously, you aren't travelling right now, um, so you've kind of pivoted and you're doing making more on YouTube um, about self-care and getting to know yourself, which I really love. And um, a fun fact about you is your goal in life is to be your own best friend is that right yeah 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 definitely um it's an ongoing goal i think i've ticked it i think i think i'm good that goal is is, is well and truly achieved i it's uh just like any relationship it has its ups and downs but yeah as a general rule i'm my own best friend yeah. and and what does that what does that really mean to you being your own best friend <clears throat> Uh, it's just like being anybody's best friend, really. Uh, you, you take care of yourself. You ensure that you're not too harsh on yourself. We can be our own biggest critics um, so much of the time. And yeah, that constant reminder, it's like, yo, 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 it's, it's okay, bro. Chill, chill, chill. I constantly give myself pats on the back, just like, you know, anyone, any, just like you would give to a friend. You're like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Relax yourself. I do the same thing with myself. Yeah. Yeah, I was reading something recently and it sounded a bit corny, but it was like, can you, can you hug yourself? Like, <laughs> because we're all socially distanced right now and we're not getting hugs and hugs yeah. are really, really good for kind of affecting the sympathetic nervous system and making us feel relaxed. Like, like can, if you can manage, yeah. it doesn't feel too cheesy, like just yeah. give yourself a little hug. Give yourself a nice little rub on the back, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> More people should be hugging themselves, definitely. So I always say self-love is the best love, so yeah. Yeah, um, I really love that. And um, I guess what I'm really interested in is you already had this like very successful career as a slam poet and you're also, then you decided that you were going to um, try and help people i guess um with these like well, writing for wellness videos online and also in your workshops and why was that really important to you so have uh purpose um i'm a firm believer in purpose is paramount and um you people need a reason to get out of bed most definitely people need a reason to um to live really and my reason to live has always been to first and foremost, to be my own best friend, but also to help those people around me. And by being in lockdown and, you know, stuck at home, I wasn't allowed to go out and interact with my audiences and I genuinely miss them. I genuinely miss going into schools. Um, I genuinely miss just talking to random strangers. It's one of my favorite things to do. So, you know, talking to a camera uh, was, was how I overcame that and how I can still share my knowledge. Um, yeah, what used to be a hobby is slowly turning into another aspect of my career. Mm. So it's it's quite fulfilling for you as well as kind of giving giving something to other people as well. Yeah, most definitely. Most and definitely. what kind of um, feedback have you been getting on these videos? Um, overall positive. Yeah, everyone seems to really, really enjoy it. Some videos have like, you know, gone really well. Others are just, you know, just chilling in the bottom. And something I noticed, as much as I like to be self-aware and spend a lot of time with myself and ensure that, you know, I am being my be own best friend and taking care of myself, um, I can still get disheartened, just like many of us, when we put something out into the world and we don't necessarily get this incredible response that the amount of work that we put into it, and you're like, oh, is it really in balance? And that's, that's when I, you know, I had to remind myself literally yesterday of like, whoa, 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 calm down. The reason you're actually doing this is not because you want accolades or praise or you, I just genuinely want to help, help people. And I genuinely want an artistic outlet. Um, and, and I'm doing that, whether that be one person, a hundred people or whatever, 
I'm still doing that. So that's, that's a goal tick. And I think it's about managing those goals. Mm. Yeah. I think that's really interesting because um, a lot of research backs that up as well. So, um, you know, having a goal, having a purpose and knowing what that is, is going to make you more, much more likely to be successful because as long as you kind of are able to keep that reason in mind, you're able to keep going. So there's almost like a lesson in that for people as well, which is really nice. Um, so you've done, um, you've covered so much already, like in your videos, you talk about body language and like standing straight, standing tall, um, using breath, um, meditation, you recommend meditation, um, and also like breaks from tech time. Um, yeah. Is there an exercise that you could do with me now in the next couple of minutes that would benefit people who are watching? Yeah, yeah, absolutely we could. Um, how involved do you want to get? We could really do a writing involved. exercise or you want to like jump out <laughs> of your seat involved? Uh, yeah, yeah. As long we, as we can, how about we, I'm not going to jump out. We can do it all sitting down, right? <laughs> Uh, okay, let's let's do this. Well, it's all standard body language. So, oh, look at that! You already get attention. I like, I like it. Well done, everyone. All right. So, <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite things to do before I jump up on stage. Um, sometimes I perform for you know thousands of people, mostly school children. So, a thousand plus school children in a big auditorium is is a tough crowd at times. So, you need to bring your energy. Okay. So, to get instantly energized, one of my favorite things is I'll, I'll always start with that, just my acupressure point. I think you may have seen a video of that. Just a nice little endorphin kick. Oh, no. Four finger, that's it. So yeah, um, well, just kidding. <laughs> so we're aiming for, there's a little muscle right there, yeah. right? Okay. And we wanna get that with our thumbs. So if I switch it around and then just push with a nice bit of pressure. Yeah, oh yeah. Can you feel yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that's called endorphins <laughs> you're doing it right if it gives you an oh it's a little sore yes yeah it's really See? tense <laughs> oh there you go. okay that's a that's a good sign that means you need to give yourself a little bit more self-love right there both sides yeah 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 there you go oh okay it's good i'll leave that one that one's that one's for free Thank okay you. you can you can you can use that one later we're just warming up i already got the ooh, ooh, ooh. all right emily <laughs> next very up. tense person so no okay um, i have to okay. do a lot of yoga to get into a sort of zen state of mind yeah you? okay let's try tr let's let's get some more endorphins going oh yeah you do that as much as you need to um old school body language shoulders back chin up Okay, breathe in through nose, out of mouth. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And one of my favorite questions that you'd be surprised how many people don't know, oh, we're still maintaining body language, is uh, your top of your spine. Where do you yeah. think the top of your spine is? There. Bang, yeah, yeah, the, the back of your... Oh, so I get that so many times. No, 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 no. Can you feel that lump at the back of your head? Go on. Is there a lump? There should be a lump. If you don't have a lump, uh, we might have a problem. <laughs> yeah. I assure you there's a lump. So if you ever, no, no, no. If you've ever seen a skeleton, you'll see that the spine goes all the way. It connects to the skull up here, right? That's the connection between your brain and the rest of your body. That's the, that's the joint. So I really, really like to focus my attention on that. And I just want you to imagine that at the top of your spine, there's just this little hovering golden ball of energy. And I focus on that hovering golden ball of energy and realize, wait a second, that is me. If we're anything, whether, that, whether your beliefs be, you think you're your soul or you're just a being or you're your brain or you're your heart or you're whatever, but there's definitely energy just hanging out there. So I let that just, I sit with that energy. It's a quick meditation. And then we're gonna move. Are you ready to move? Yeah. Okay. I get my hands, put them on my side, and then just bring them up, then down. But this time, we're gonna breathe out as we go up. So go. One more. 
Down. We breathe in and out. Ooh. And I'm going to really get some speed. <laughs> you said you wanted to move, so let's go. And that always gives me a nice little kick. It's a little Kundalini yoga mixed with some meditation, mixed with some uh, endorphin release. And I'm always good to get up on stage just before I do that. Um, I also yell my name out, which is a whole different exercise, but we can do that another time, I think. <laughs> Thank you. I feel very, um, feel very energized now. I Thank also you. like the, do you do that one where you spin from side to side, standing up and do it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like this one too. This the, without clapping your hands together. So you like, <laughs> we could just do hours of this. I just, we could just <laughs> um, thank you. I feel very, um, very awake now and, um, a, a bit tingly, but I'm going to, I'm going to keep doing that one. Do that one. That's really yeah. good. Yeah. I do a lot of typing. So, um, Okay, and um, and so do you have like, I always wonder about like people who seem to kind of have it quite together. Like, do you have a sort of routine every day where you're doing, you know, at first I do my breathing exercises, then I do a brain dump, and then I like write in my journal, and then <laughs> I do, I cram. An entire day's um, work into five minutes and uh, <laughs> uh to answer your question no um i have had in the past and I, I don't claim for a second that i've got it all together far from um anyone who tells you they've got it all together is someone you should be careful of um no i don't definitely don't have it all together and i've i've tried routines in the past but i believe that humans don't don't work like that you know, we need structure most definitely, but we do also need a little bit of chaos. So yes, I do most days wake up, do my brain dump, do some journaling, get some yoga done, have a meditation. Yeah, hundred percent. Like most days I'll try to tick off those three things. I don't do it every day. Some days are better than others. Absolutely. And that's the beauty of being human being, of being a human being. Um, one of the mantras that I live by is just, um, just like the good, good times don't last, nor do the bad. So if I'm having a, like a, you know, those days when you're really, really grooving, you're saying all the right things, everything's on point. Um, even amongst that, I remind myself, Oh, wait a second. It's okay. Like this, this feeling is not necessarily going to last. This is the result of my environment right now, my chemical, what chemicals have been going on. Maybe it's what I've been eating. Have I been exercising more than usual? okay and the complete opposite also kicks in um which is oh okay i'm not feeling great today what's going on just as the bad times don't last nor will the good right mm -hmm. so it's both of a balance and that's something that i constantly remind myself of so i don't have a routine um per se i don't have to structure every moment of my day but i do have things that i do um if that makes more sense so i do write i do meditate i do breathe i do have um systems where i'm like oh let me check in on myself i'm happy right now what's going on da, 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 da. i'm sad right now what's going on da, 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 da. So, yeah. and i think that feeds back really nicely into that idea of getting curious about yourself and maybe being able to be your own best friend at some point um yeah. and i think that maybe is something as particularly in lockdown people yeah. are having a chance to kind of notice those ups and downs a little bit more maybe i mean mm -hmm. not for everyone who's struggling to like manage a large family and no income at the same time but for, <laughs> for some people who've got a, a little bit of time who aren't constantly stressed they're noticing that roller coaster as well um mm -hmm. and i think yeah it's good to just kind of validate that and say like that's that's part of being human yeah yeah. Um, that, yeah, I, you hit the nail <laughs> on the head. And that's, that's why I believe in being your own best friend, right? Because it's the same advice that you would give a friend. Um, if, if you told me, Emily, um, you're like, oh, I've been, 
this lockdown's really been making me feel not so great about myself. Um, I am constantly trying to distract myself with with Netflix and technology and this and that and trying to get my dopamine hits in other ways because I don't want to sit with myself. Mm. Um, you, I would give you the advice of like, oh, it's okay to sit with yourself. You're just a human. These are unprecedented times. Um, you know, we as humans, we've had this society and this way that we've interacted with one another and all of a sudden that's just been flipped onto its head. And this, this is the thing now. Look at us having a conversation, right? Um, and that's the advice that I would give you. And I imagine you'd give me something similar in your own, in your own flavor. And I think it's important to, to give that advice to yourself. So, yeah. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you were to sum up in one sentence, um, what we've just been talking about, what would, what would it be? What have we been talking about, Emily? <laughs> <laughs> I think being, being really yeah. kind to yourself and, you know, trying to put some, exercises in place for yourself that work for you but mm -hmm. don't beat yourself up if you don't always stick to them yeah i, th I think you've summed it up pretty well <laughs> i think yeah. uh, if we were to, purpose is paramount and be your own best friend definitely they're two things i think are good to live by thank you so much so have um, it's been wonderful i will um link to your youtube and other things down below thank you Thank you. Bye.